Hey, it's Jess. Um, this is my two-week post-op video. Um, I just got out of the shower, so I'm still a little rough around the edges, but um, it's been two weeks out. I started at 270 pounds. Um, I'm 250 pounds now, two weeks out. And that's great. I've lost a lot of weight, and that's super fantastic. But um, this has been maybe the hardest week so far. Even when I was in the hospital, I think it's been harder this week because I am having some crazy head hunger. <laughs> I am, um, my belly is full. I'm really full. I mean, even on water or just a couple ounces of this or that. I mean, I'm still on a liquid diet. Um, but Psychologically, I want a bite of a hamburger. I want to bite into some kind of meat. I want some kind of food. And I called my friend who had gastric bypass. I go to a gastric bypass support group every week with women who, you know, are in various stages of the process. And she's like, if you feel like you have to, just take a bite, chew it, and spit it out. So, um, sadly, I've been doing that. And my stomach is not full it's it's just mental you know it's just mental and it's been hard to cook for my family and you know not eat it I've been making some really good stuff and I can't eat it and all I can have is liquids so um, but I did find I went to the store this week and I got those um, little cups of soup that you know, you know, you can sip out of them, and they're just—I think they're 10 ounces, so it's like a little more than two meals for me. I don't—I can't remember the name of it, but they have red lids, you know, when you microwave it and that. And that's been a little bit of, of a mix-up, but I'm noticing now, like the chicken broth and the beef broth and the bouillon and all that. I'm not sure, you know, I, it's not filling me up quite as much as it was immediately after the surgery and um, I have two pamphlets of information one says that I should uh, I should go on my stage three period foods now the other one says that I need to wait for the three week which is next week and I'm not sure if maybe I'm breaking an addiction or and I should stay on a liquid diet or I'm not sure if you know, my body is saying, hey, it's time for something a little more solid. Um, but in any case, I've been really, I mean, I've been, when I cook my meals, I cooked a big pot of potato soup with ham in it this week. It looks so good. And I made it for my boys. And I had to go in another room because I was just crying because I wanted to bite so bad. So bad. So, I mean, it's great that I've lost 20 pounds and... You know, I do feel like I have some weapons in my arsenal. You know, I feel like uh, before when I was starving, you know, like when I'd go on diet and I would like really try to, you know, really do it, I, I would just get so shaky and hungry. And when you have cravings and you're shaky and hungry, and my doctor said that your stomach is the size of a football or a milk jug. So that's why a lot of, you know obese people never feel full so if you're having these cravings and you know you have nothing in this football or milk jug then you're going to fail because you're starving you're hungry you know your body really needs the food so at least I'm full <laughs> having the head hunger as opposed to you know hungry so I don't know I'm not sure if this is a normal part I'm not sure if I need counseling I'm not sure um, if a normal person who was an obese would not crave things, you know, if you if, if you put just a regular sized person on a liquid diet for two weeks, would that person, you know, have to take bites and chew them and spit them out? I don't know. It seems a little crazy to me, but um, you know, I'm st I mean, I've still lost 20 pounds and it's been two weeks and um, I'm down like a size or two, kind of. I don't know exactly, you know. And, um, but I, you know, I really don't feel like more mobile or I really don't feel stronger or lighter because 
I'm taking in like, what, 300 calories a day? And, um, you know, I feel really weak. My husband took me, um, we live in the mountains, you know, and so he took me hiking in the mountains this week, and my two little boys and my husband were like, you know, forever ahead of me, and I just, I can't do anything really very fast now. It's like I almost feel fatter than before the surgery because I'm, I'm really tired, you know. And my husband's gone back to work, and so he only got 10 days off. So I'm chasing these kids around, and I'm tired, and I'm just, I'm having a rough time of it, you know. And um, another thing is I'm taking these vitamins, and, you know, I'm taking, like, liquid vitamins from Vitamin World, and then I'm, I've been forgetting to take my calcium citrate. But, oh, my God, I can't hardly stand to take it. I'm not sure if I can take chewables or I'm not. Some people say that your body doesn't digest chewables the same way after you have gastric bypass as it does liquid. And um, I can hardly get it down. So I wish I could take some other kind of vitamins, but I'm not exactly sure, you know, what my body can tolerate. So I'll show you my... Um, incision wounds. I, I just took the um, my big ouchy one. I had to pack it with gauze until this week and um, you know it was it was really big and I had to pack it with or my husband had to pack it with gauze and then it got to be just a quarter of an inch so we stopped covering it and stopped packing it but it's been kind of raw you know so here I'll show you here. Let me see if I can This is the one that hurts right here. But all the rest of them, see I have one, oops, two, three, four. There's one down here you can hardly see. Five. I'm not even sure where the sixth one is. But in any case, you know, it's not too bad. The recovery has not been that bad. So it's been a hard week. But I'm still successful, and it's my two-week update. Hi.